today's adventure brings me out to a little park that's not too far from where I live. Thought I'd get out of the house for a little bit. It's hot in the house, it's hot on my porch. I'm on a little trail here and it's nice and cool on this trail and I'm going to walk it a little bit. I don't know if I can make the whole trip today or not, but I'll be back later at another day and if I can't get everything today and I'm sure I can't, but um, come on, come on, join me. Take a little stroll. Gosh, it's nice and cool in these woods. I got a little, let me see if I can see this. I got a little, um, little tags, I guess, for uh, different plants out here. I don't know if they got one for poison ivy, or po <laughs> poison ivy or not, but I think I can recognize that. I'm sure if I went into these woods, I could find an old Civil War gun emplacement or a trench in these woods here somewhere. Because there was a lot of fighting on this side of the um, Chattahoochee River. So I'm sure somewhere in these woods there got to be some. Hmm. Looking at this, I got to go around that way to the around there. make his turn and I'll be back with you in a minute and let's see what's going on here. Well, I've passed two benches since I started and I haven't been a hundred yards. There's one at the entrance and here comes another one. I guess it's got these benches out here for old folks like me. Got to sit down there once in a while. And if I was looking at tracks or trail there, I was going to look to see if there was deer tracks. Here comes the first bridge. Absolutely quiet out here except for the cars going by on the highway. really damp out here too. There's a mighty root growing from this tree here. Really tall tree. Really tall tree. You'd think I was in the redwood forest or something. <clears throat> Here comes somebody and pass them. How's it going, man? Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's one person I've seen out here. Nobody else. Coming up to a right of way. Road back in the distance. And a long way up that right of way. Some, uh, some type of bird houses I've got put up. like he's getting him a little something to eat there. They're all over that bush. <clears throat> Seems like last time I was here, which has been probably 10 years ago, I remember a lot more water, unless I just hadn't got to it yet. I know maybe half a mile, a mile from here is Nickajack Creek, uh, old Con Concord Mill, a waterfall, water, beautiful little place just to go relax. All of this, right in the middle of the city. If you want to call this place a city, which I pretty much do, because there you can't you can't go half mile without being in one city or the other here. Saw some bees. I've yet to see any animal, but I guarantee you there's some animals out here because if I was an animal, this is where I'd be. Now, I mean, more of an animal than what I am, you know. I bet this really look good in the winter time when a lot of this weed stuff has died down. Okay, here's the bridge. This has got to be some water here. <coughs> or not, I don't know. Well, coming up to a metal bridge, that has, has to cross the creek. I can't even remember, it's been so long since I've been out here. But it's nice to come out here and just walk by yourself and not have to worry about anything other than a bear might come out. And, Want to talk to me, but I don't know. I see water. I see water. A creek. Flowing pretty, pretty.
pretty fast. I wonder how much gold I could pan in this creek. Hmm. That's an idea. Oh, it opens up way back there about 75 yards. That's, I, it's got to be up there where those waterfalls are. <laughs> well, back when I was in the woods back here, it was cool. Now it's not got hot out here on this bridge. <coughs> oh man, here's something you don't see every day growing out in the woods. This is the first time I've experienced finding one of these growing. I've heard about them, but look at that. Ain't no telling how long it took for this thing to grow out here. <laughs> how you guys know? Pretty good. Yes. At least it's cool out here in this part of... Couple more guys walking. Well, I'm gonna walk a little bit further on up this way, and when I start the other video, it's not gonna be today, I don't think, because I don't get later, and I don't want to drive on the other side of this. Start on the other end and come this way. But uh, I know the um, other side where the old mill and the uh, Silver Comet Trail and all is at. That um, it's pretty up there. Too bad they close this place up at, at night. I would come out here and film at night. Man, this would be a good, good location to do some filming for my uh, movie. But you can't come out here at night because they have the place closed up. You to pull the stuff up. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna be pulling anything up today. And there is a big hole in the ground. I don't know if you can see it on this camera, but if that was on a hill, I would know exactly what that is. That would be a bunker, Civil War bunker, but I'm not sure since that's not on a hill. It could have been an old, old tree that fell. I don't know if you can see it that good on this camera or not, but it looks just like a bunker. So, bring my metal detector out here. And of course, I, knowing Cobb County, I'd end up in jail. Okay, I'm going to turn around and go back the other way. In the next video, um, we'll uh, start on the other end and come back this way. and Then you'll see what I mean by 
this place being so so beautiful out here. Okay, talk to you.